Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ad Dad Can Learn YouTube channel. I'm Dad. I'm NJ. We've got some awesome content coming your way. we got the website up and running and our merch store. You can get to both of those by going to... DadCanLearn.com DadCanLearn.com Make sure you go subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and click the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future it awesome content. It makes the bell happy. It makes the bell happy. So here we go. Don't, please don't sit on me. Scooch. I can't. Really? <laughs> Not you. Okay. Well, folks, we're finally in our new studio. We're so glad you could join us for it. Uh, you know N NJ. Over there, that's Cousin Michael. Over here, that's Cousin Katie. Y'all know me, I'm Dad. Uh, one of the things that we've been working on with NJ is expanding the, the food that he tries or likes or... You know, instead of chicken nuggets and pizza, something that I found earlier this morning was um, some actual experimental food that we could have NJ try. And I want to get their reactions as I explain to them what it is. Oh no. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go take a look. This is courtesy of Rough Guides. Oh no! Yeah. We appreciate it. That looks disgusting. Do we have to do this? We do. <coughs> we're going to go through them. weird foods of the world. And uh, we're going to see how they react. I'm going to barf every single time. Is that rotten? Uh, this look like rotten. Yeah, eggs. we'll get there. Don't worry. So the first one. Hey, NJ, get back over here. I'm not used to trying foods, so this one's going to make me This is going to be fun. If you throw up, we'll get more subscribers. Because it'll be really funny. Easy for you to say, you're not the one trying rotten eat. eggs. Are you trying them right now? You're or are you just looking time. at them on the screen? So this first one is uh, from Japan. Shirako. I am not, I'm going to mess up a number of these. I apologize. First one is Shirako. It's apparently innards of a uh, angler fish or a puffer fish. Just looking at some of these Ew, it looks like a blobfish that had babies. <laughs> Is that like a strawberry on top? I, I imagine that that's probably like uh, the row from, um, a I don't know though. I, I really don't know. Alright, so let's go down to number two. You, really? We can read what, that, what this next one is. Oh, tuna ew, eyeballs. ew, tuna eyeballs. Hopefully we don't have that. Tuna oh, eyeballs. Tuna, tuna, oh. Tuna eyeballs. oh my gosh. Do you love plus? So it's in. No, no. <coughs> wow, <this>. Something. <laughs> so this is an important lesson in sustainability and responsibility with our food. It is really important that we don't waste our food, and that's actually something that's that's where this comes from. Um, nothing on the tuna in Japan goes wasted, including the eyeballs. So what they do, they boil it and they they serve it up with some garlic or some ginger, or whatever. And it's actually just like a cheap snack. So, you know, people go to the market. Yes, my boss kids. So, like, if we go to the fair or the carnival or, or the market or something like that, we might pick up a bag of peanuts or whatever and pick up some eyeballs. I think you could do that. No. This next one, this is Baloo. Um, you ready? Is that the inside of an eyeball? No, that is the inside of an almost hatched egg. Oh. And they eat that. Yeah, so what they do, they boil it and they, they, they season the water or whatever. That's cruel. There's an animal almost hatched in there. It's a chicken, right? So you would have eaten the chicken nuggets later anyway. So if you're going to eat it, oh. you may as well eat it. Yeah, yeah but you don't eat vegetables either. So if you didn't eat animals and you didn't eat vegetables, you're kind of out of luck. I mean, I guess you could eat first. Crispy tarantulas. Crispy tarantulas. This yeah, comes to us from Cambodia. What's a, what's a tarantula? Ew. What's a tarantula? A spider. It's a spider. It's a big, hairy it's spider. A spider really. yeah, Some so they, of these, I wonder how they were made up. Well, a lot of times it, it starts as affordable street food, and then it becomes a tradition or a snack food or whatever. It says it tastes like crab. I don't like crab either, so. White ant eggs from Laos. Ew, no Ew. Ant. 
That looks delicious. Apparently they make it into a soup. A, a sharp and delicate, a little bit like shrimp is what it says. Hey, MJ, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring some home for you to eat. They I'm look like little pieces of rice. I don't even they do look like little. Soup, they do look like little pieces I of rice, don't they? I'll, I wonder if it tastes or like if it eats like rice. Actually, I would tell me. Yeah, it's, camp, probably, it's probably a little bit. And they put special. ants in the lollipops. Well, you. I mean, yeah. like you could buy them. Like, I've seen that, or like centipedes, or or whatever. Yeah. Jellied moose nose. <laughs> Honestly, that one what? sounds better than the rest. Of them. You would eat moose nose before you would eat a crispy tarantula leg. Oh, it's a nose. Of a it moose. It is jelly. I get, I get that our flavors here in the states are different than in other parts of the world, but. Mm -mm. Do y'all like mushrooms? No. No. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Not really. No. Sometimes. So this is huilacoche. It's instead of like mushroom that grows in a forest or whatever, this is the same idea, but it grows on corn. We call it corn smut here. Um, oh yeah, there it is right there. But it, it it apparently like eats like mushrooms. I think we lost NJ. I think he's down for the count. <laughs> okay, Kasumarzu. It's oh, cheese. Rotten it's cheese. Oh, it's rotten cheese. Hmm. <laughs> Ew. See, I only like Kobe Jack. <laughs> Um, I would honestly put a basic cheese. I would put a of cheese flies are Oh, there you go. That's what I would put. I would put that over moose nose. But you said moose nose sounded okay. So because I didn't. I didn't put all that together. Okay, so muck tuck. Yeah, that, this is actually. Seal, right? it, well, I think it's whale, right? Yeah, it's oh, whale. So uh oh. Bad. That but looks like many, many legs. It does. Oh, it does, it does it a little bit. That's kind of sad now. Okay, so okay. what this is, this is actually like a, a gnawing food. So like the sailors of old or whatever, they, it's just the fat. And so they would just gnaw on it because it would last a long time. This right here was that opening picture. Y'all ready? This is a century egg. I'm ready for it. All right. I'm ready for it. So it is a rotten egg. Century means what? Hundred years. Hundred years. Decades, ten. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're covered in clay and ash for months, and then it turns into that. It looks like a rock. Some of the stuff. Why don't they prefer to eat it like a crystal or something? I'm interested in rotten. To answer the question that you're going for, it it preserves it. It's a preservative, more or less, right? So if you can eat something like that, then you can make your eggs last a lot longer. So let's say you have a you know a, a hen that lays a lot of eggs, more than you can eat. You don't want them to waste, so you find a way to preserve them, and that's probably how this happened. It's a way to save food. Well, they look like rocks, like crystals. They do. I mean, I actually think they're really, really pretty. I'd rather eat yeah. eggs yeah. than rotten. Just the thought of it. I don't, I don't they think they smell pretty. pretty. Yeah, they probably don't smell good, and they probably don't taste good, but they look really pretty. Yeah, we'll get some of that. Stargazy pie. Food. That sounds fun, doesn't it? I don't think it is. So. It's gonna be fish pie. Oh my gosh, there's even like little starfish. Oh, we saw it. We saw it on the menu. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah on the menu. Stargazy pie. I would so, yeah. take a picture. You know, there. I have a problem with meat pies in general. Yeah. Like pie needs to be chocolate or lemon meringue yeah, or key lime. With fruit. Or something it other than It needs to be that. dessert. It needs to be something sweet. That's something that happens in, in Europe a lot is yeah. the meat pie. In Albania. So, but this one actually, this has a cool story if you read up here. Or it's a pie with fish that stare at the sky. It originates from the Cornish village of Mousehole in England and is served on Tom Bawcock's Eve, the day before Christmas Eve. According to legend, this heroic 16th century sailor rode out to row, where to go, rode out one December evening in high storms and returned with a catch big enough to feed the starving residents. So this is actually done in honor of a guy that fought the elements to feed his community. So it actually has a really cool backstory. Mm -hmm. Just not a really good taste. Just wish he had gone out and like caught a bunch of limes or fruit or something, right? Yeah. Or apples. <laughs> 
Or cookies. Uh, no. Not locusts. Locusts. Oh my gosh, no. No, no, no. no. Oh. Okay. Who else wants to faint with me? No. So, insects are actually enjoyed in many, many countries. Right? This one is actually from Israel. Let's let's go back a little bit. We're all Christians here. Mm -hmm. So let's think about what is the, the correlation of locusts in Israel? Oh, that was one of the plagues. Yeah, one of the plagues, right? So, so that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, yeah but I can't look at that anymore. <laughs> okay. It's like the bugs. It's something like that. It's just disgusting. All right. That's, all. that's the end of them. There were 16 of them. Which one would you most likely try and which one would you absolutely not ever under any circumstances you I'd, would rather die? I would rather die than eat dog meat. Okay. I, I would rather die than eat fat. The like very straight fat. The very last one. No, 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 no actually, the upright. You wouldn't eat the insects? No. Even though most of the world eats insects. I I cannot eat dog meat. That's okay. just. But like, I will. The I one thing myself. I would eat I as a last way of living would be <clears> that moldy cheese. I think I would. I think I would actually seek out the wheel of coche, the the corn smut. I would actually try to find a good restaurant. There's not really a a decent restaurant. These are the tarantulas. Uh, well. There's not really a restaurant around where we live that would serve wheel of coche. But I think if we were ever to go into like central Mexico or wherever, I think I would try to find a dish a dish that has that. I don't think I want to find any of these. I'd want to. You're going. Anyone that. Likes all of the on this list as a stomach made of steel. Yeah, see, that is one of the things about this list. It comes from all over the world, right? So while some people might be like, "Ooh, I'd never eat tuna," eyeballs, they not, but they eat baloo. Just it's how you grow up. So if you have if you have an idea of, of something that's not on this list, share it with us. If you tried it and you have an opinion on one thing or another one in this list, let us know. Right, well, thanks for joining us, Katie and Michael. I'm Dad. I'm AJ. And we're out. Goodbye. Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping by the Dad Can Learn YouTube channel. Hopefully, you liked what you just saw. Hopefully, you like what you'll see after you subscribe. So go ahead and do that for us. Give us a thumbs up on these videos. And also, make sure you go check us out on our Facebook and our Twitter accounts. They're both at Dad Can Learn for some notifications and updates and things like that. We're trying to grow this community full of parents and kids that are trying to reclaim the relationship that the world has tried to steal away from them. Um, so we look forward to seeing it grow and we look forward to seeing you next time.